Hi everyone, thanks for joining me at um, Check It Out with Carmela T. I wanted to show you uh, the back part of the yo-yo blanket. And um, the idea that I had was, and I was hoping it would come out good, and it did. I wanted to scallop the yo-yos, so to speak. So I laid them over the edge just a little bit, and so you can see. And that's, that's really what I wanted. Now, I also knew that when I was tie knotting, and there's lots and lots of tie knots, and we knew that was going to happen, that they would show up on this side. This is quilting. This is um, the effect of the tie knot. So um, this is the backing of it, and I love it. It's totally, you know, it's, it's part of the artistry of creating this quilt. So, um, now a couple of ideas I had as I was going along, I wanted to pass along to you, is these spaces, I kept going back and forth, should I make smaller yo-yos, and in fact I did, I made a lot of them, but when I placed them in these spaces, thinking it would add to the decor, um, you know the saying, sometimes less is more. So um, they actually did not um, have the effect I thought that they would. So I didn't put them in the spaces. Instead, I was visualizing more uh, tie knots. Now these tie knots, if you look closer, they're different colors in those spaces. So um, the videography here is not giving it full justice, really, because it's very, they're very pretty. And, um, and they could have even been a thicker thread and would have even more of an effect and the po colors would pop even more. And especially when there was a color like blue next to a blue yo-yo or red next to a red yo-yo uh, with red in it. So um, those were a few things I did. Now, the other thing I wanted to pass along uh, to you is that these yo-yos... Uh, creating a yo-yo quilt, uh, typically and traditionally and culturally, um, these quilts were not made with backings, um, n never mind batting. <laughs> so this, I wanted this to be um, heavier. I wanted it to be warm. And um, so, you know, you can tie knot your uh, yo-yos without a backing and you will still get a blanket effect. It'll be like a summer quilt um, because you will have these spaces. Now, if you make them octagon shape, you can um, fill in the space. You can get them closer so you're not having any space at all. So there's different shapes you can do, and there's YouTubers out there um, showing you hacks and showing you how to do different shapes uh, for the yo-yos if you type that in. Um, the other thing is, um, along with the shape, the sizes. The sizes, you can have all different uh, sizes of uh, yo-yos. Now, I have seen yo-yos, and I call these pennies, but I guess the, the word out is yo-yos. Um, they um, are many times sewed right onto a blanket. Let's say you already have a fleece blanket. You can sew these right onto the fleece blanket. So it will for sure give it more weight. Um, so therefore it will give it just a tad more warmth, but it totally will give it decor. So if you can definitely sew these, so you can sew these, you know, onto pillows, you can use these to decorate so many different things, really. Um, and the size, the size of these, um, they can be very large, they can be very small, and you know, that's completely up to you how you want to um, um, create them. Now, the, and one other thing is that even though I used um, pretty much cotton, um, I do have a few blends in here, whether they're polyester or or um, or rayon even. But the the fact is, you can use whatever you want. Okay, it 
It does not have to be a fat quarter. It doesn't have to be cotton. Um, you know, look, it could even be wool. So all I say on all of that is test out your fabrics, um, especially if the remnants, sometimes when they're older, the, the, um, if they're a blend, uh, it will be difficult for you to put the needle through if the fiber, there were, there were a few fibers I had when I went to put the needle through the needle was having a hard time going. I couldn't get the needle through. It's because the fabric was too old. So if you're looking at your vintage fabrics, uh, maybe test test it out with uh, putting the needle through before before you do all your cutting and sewing of your of the yo-yos because uh, that was just save you a lot of time and you'll know immediately. I mean, immediately it won't take you long to figure out if that fabric is um, going to be easy for you to put your thread your uh, sewing needle through. So. Um, Anyway, I wanted to share those few tips with you, and if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, if you want to make a blanket or you're working on a blanket, um, whatever it is, whether you know it's crochet or the or penny quilt or boro sashiko quilt, whatever you're working on, if you want to donate it uh, to the Welcome Blanket Project, uh, I have their. Um, website or how you can contact them in the content and it's the millmuseum.org you have to put the word the or it doesn't come up right so um anyway i hope that helps and i thank you so much for joining me and asking me questions and um and you have any other suggestions anything else you'd like me to do i would like to uh work uh, a little bit more with uh the yo-yos and I am going to do a video, um, as I had said I would do, I'm making a hat. So um, if I'm able to go live through YouTube for the hat, that's what I'll do. So I'm going to check on that. I have to make sure I have all the requirements to uh, go live. Okay, thank you so much.